G'day guys, welcome to another video. I wanna start this one out by letting you guys know that we are 20% off in store. We never do sales, so definitely jump on this one. It's only gonna be for less than a week. 20% off in store, use the code YT20. It's right here. Hopefully I did it. I'll do it, I'll do it, YT20. YT20. But uh, yeah, we've got limited merch left. This is literally all we've got. Uh, limited sizes, but we wanna try and uh, clear out a bunch of stock before World Time Attack. And a lot of this is super rad stuff and I love it. Especially these, I can't believe you guys have slept, a little bit slept on the uh, Falcon Laurel shirt, which I freaking love. Um, I have sold the Laurel to a friend, um, so there will be some Laurel on Falcon action coming up when we go to Japan. But there's just a ton of stuff coming up, so we need to clear stock out, get some money back in the accounts to get it ready for all these events coming up soon. So anyway, we're off to a road trip now. We're gonna go see a company that I'm about to start working with on stuff for the Falcon for Japan. So pretty stoked about that, let's go. All right, so I thought I'd have a bit of chat to you guys while I'm driving. I'm actually really stoked about that sale. Tiana never does sales with the store, so don't sleep on that. But we're now heading to a place called MFP, which is Main Force Performance, and they predominantly do Ford stuff. Now, I've been reaching out to a couple companies leading up to Japan. If you don't already know, Japan in November, Matsuri is like the Matsuri to go to. We had a blast there last year with all your favorite YouTubers and all my, basically all my buddies. And this year it's even bigger. We've got a group chat going, everybody's coming. So all your favorite YouTubers, we're all gonna have a blast together. We're all planning to be on like the same tires so we can just door each other all weekend long. But obviously I'm doing it a Falcon. So they've all got JZXs. Basically everyone's got JZXs. And I'm gonna be there rocking the JZX, uh, <laughs> the Falcon JZX. So the Aussie JZX, the Ford Falcon. Now, the reason like I'm trying to get a few more things lined up are that guys from AU House are actually sending cars over. I don't know if they've announced it and I've just spoiled their, their thing, but AU House are going to Ibisu and they're sending a couple cars over so I need to get a bunch of parts together to be able to ship over in the shipping container, uh, basically to meet my Falcon over there with their Falcon. Saves me a ton on shipping and a lot of weight or even taking on the plane is a nightmare. So it's a mad rush now. In between the mad rush of getting the patrol done for World Time Attack, I'm also having to just think of every little thing that I need for the Ford Falcon. I just had a rear coil over. Uh, Shockworks have sent the rear a shock all the way from Australia straight to power vehicles in Japan. So big thanks to those guys. I've actually done a revalve, so slightly different valving. So I'm really interested to see what the Falcon's gonna feel like when we get over there, because I already think it was freaking phenomenal. Like honestly guys, it drives better than my JZX. So we're just down a little bit on power. So I have been chasing power. Um, reached out to a couple of companies that do superchargers for barriers, but nothing back yet. So if you do know one, hit them up, let me know because, um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'd love to get a bit of boost into that thing. Ideally, I'd like to supercharge only because it's a straight bolt-on. You know, I want a direct straight bolt-on because of the ease and not needing any crazy tools, not needing to drill into blocks, tap blocks and all that sort of jazz. You know, just something straight bolt on, tune, job done. So that's what I'm trying to do first because I only want another 50 to 100 horsepower. Be plenty in that car. Um, so yeah, we'll work it out. But uh, it's just a, it's a bit of a process, and God, it's stressful having so many cars. Like the project of the Falcon in Japan needing to be done. I've also got so, so essentially, I'll tell you guys my timeline. We got World Time Attack uh, coming up in just over a week. Then straight after, like the weekend after World Time Attack, or maybe the weekend after that. Either way, I've got a four-wheel driving trip coming up with the Suzuki, so that's why I'm trying to get the Suzuki done on the side as well. As well as that going on, I'm trying to logistically sort out everything for the Corvette in America, because at the end of next month, we've got another trip to America to run round four of the Hot Pit Auto Fest series. I'm currently sitting second in points now after my last win. 
So, you know, I'm starting to take that a little bit more serious now, knowing we're in the points hunt. So, you know, it'd be cool to come away with that championship win. Um, so we can reach out to my homies at Holly. Uh, they're organizing alternator and a few other bits and pieces we need for that car. And then obviously the Falcon. So again, working with the AU house boys, trying to get the Falcon together. But we're going pretty much from America. I'm coming back to Australia. Then me and the wife and stuff go directly to Japan pretty much. And then I get back from Japan and go straight to, uh, straight to America again for the final of Hot Pit Auto Fest. So there's a ton of stuff going on in a short period of time and this year's just flown by. Anyway, we're gonna get to MFP shortly and I'll show you guys around. I'm pretty excited to see their, what they do, their facility and stuff. So maybe they'll let me drive one of these. They've got some pretty crazy supercharged Falcons there that I'm pretty keen to see. So we'll check it out. All right, so we made it down here to MFP. I've been having a little bit of a geese around first because there's lots of cool stuff here like it's like the boss's car you said. Yep. This is Darcy by the way. But the boss has got Test car. over a thousand wheel street car. Yep. As he does. And we're just looking under a customer's car at the moment because he has what we're down here for, which is if you know anything about the Barra Falcons, they like to tear apart the rear diff hats when you're a dickhead with your car basically. Which is fair. Yep. <laughs> And what Everyone just... knows the um, IRS Falcons have the diff bush issues. Diff bush issues, I sorted my bush, but apparently they'll also break the, the bolt off the rear oh, hat. Oh yeah, they will snap the bolt out of that, out of the diff hat and just wreck your hat or snap the bolt off and then you can't get your bolt out. And... Yeah. Which in Japan would be an absolute freaking disaster. So I've been looking at ways, there is a company that brings out a two bolt rear hat, but it also means dropping the entire rear cradle out of the car, welding and all that sort of stuff. And for majority of people, and especially someone that has a Falcon sitting in Japan uh, with very minimal tools, that's absolutely not gonna happen. So they have a bolt-in solution, which you can kind of see on this customer's car here. I'll have to show you guys out of the car, but it's up in there. You'll be able to get a good look, look from up through, here. Through the bottom there. So it's essentially a bolt-on solution to uh, help with the rear diff hat, and you guys haven't had a failure yet? No, and we've tested on, like, we had the prototype floating around two or three years ago. It's been tested on the boss's car, five or so of his mates that all give their cars a hard time. And drag strip with semis and, well, drag tires and dumping it, obviously. Yep, six, 700, 800 horsepower cars, dump it in a manual, no more axle tramp hooks up better and yeah, they've all never had a diff bush issue again. Yeah. The interesting thing, I haven't personally had um, diff hop issues, but I've seen people have them. I think a lot of it's probably more to do with maybe the way the cars are set up stock. So I know I've gone ahead, mine's got all arms everywhere. I think the lower arm and the blade are the only thing that are standard on mine. I haven't had any axle tramp issues, but the diff thing terrifies me because I, magically somehow broke a turbo axle in mine with my NA Barra. So I, in, in the two, three fives, high, high pressures, like no reason for it to break and it broke, but I, I don't know. There was a few little gremlins going on there, which we've hopefully sorted now, but this is sort of the next thing that I'm stressing about, especially because I want to either, I want to boost the Falcon in some way, shape or form. Uh, but I want to make sure everything else is absolutely bulletproof first, which I initially went with a TI-6060 and the turbo rear end, but I wasn't aware of the whole two bolt thing or, you know, this new solution, well, somewhat new, new to me solution, which is bolt in. So this is something I would have ideally loved to do before I left, but now we're here and it is a bolt in thing, which looks like this is a probably a four inch or bigger. Oh like yeah, this main, pipe. this main pipe is four inch, but if you've got a turbo Falcon, and well, most of them, you are able to slide it in between the without even subframe the and the diff without even dropping the exhaust out. So, which like, honestly, like pulling, dropping the exhaust off for a job like this is no big deal anyway. You, you're spending a couple minutes to rip the exhaust off and then, you know, a couple minutes to bolt this in and bolt the exhaust back on. But even with the exhaust on, you can bolt this thing in, which is pretty cool. And I've only got a, I think like a two inch system in mine or two and a half, whatever X-Force. Yeah, I have an X-Force system. So I'll easily be able to get my hands up in there and get this in. So I'll have a gaze at it off the car.
time. You explain it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll explain it to you. Alright, we can hear you. Ah, okay. You talk loud. Yeah, I, I try to. I've got a pretty big, big inside voice. Yeah. So this will be our diff race that we're going to give to Luke. The uh, is it, it freaking looks cool. I think that's such a cool piece with everything else that's going on. It's a shame no one's going to see it unless I fuck up real bad. I just did my JZX100 and like, you're never going to see it unless I'm upside down. Um, hopefully I'm never upside down. But something you will see, because the Japanese love to see under the bonnet of the Falcon because they don't understand what it is, um, which I didn't even realize was a problem with the Falcon because I've spent very little time with the Falcon. But being that it's over there with snow and a lot of rain and everything, radiator, bra radiator bracket yeah. is common to rust out. Yeah, rust out and these just look better. Obviously. Oh, these look cool as hell. Like, but if racing. you're a Falcon owner, you definitely know that your radiator brackets will get rusty at some point. And like even my Falcon, which is not, I try and keep nice and clean, they had a bit of rust on them and that's just what Ford made them as. Yeah. So we'll Random problems some... that I just had no idea about, but that's definitely something cool and a little bit of flashy stuff in the engine. I've got other bits of aluminium in there. not. Not machined aluminium, but you know, I've got an aluminium uh, no, the reservoir, the oh, coolant yeah, yeah. reservoir and stuff like that. So this will definitely match in there all nice and I'm excited about this more than anything because uh Safety if it security. doesn't if it doesn't do anything that I notice, then it's done its job exactly. at the end of the day. It's one of those things. So But with that said, my diff does move I feel it move when I give it a clutch here. So I've got a big extreme twin plate in it. Yep. So it's still it's got a pretty gnarly clutch. And uh, yeah, yeah, this little so jigger. You're, def you're definitely twisting your diff bush, and this yeah, will stop be. that. Because there's all poly stuff on it at the moment, but it's yeah, still, it's gonna, still it's, the single. It's still, 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 still single point, and it's still twisting. So this will eliminate that, as this bush is pretty much hard up against your subframe, and with it hard up against it, it's got nowhere to move, and it just sets on that when you give it some, and doesn't twist anymore. Yeah, I pretty much never like not give it some in that thing, so. Exactly. It's uh, definitely going to be a big thing. So if you want to check out some of this for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. But it's main force performance. Yeah, well, we shortened it down to MFP Australia. MFP. So, yeah, yeah look them up. Give them a follow on Instagram for me, guys, and check out what they do. Because obviously it's not just uh, the Falcon stuff. They actually, strangely enough, do a ton of Falcon, uh, Falcon, ton of Mustang stuff. And then if you are into your Falcons, and more, more importantly, the V8 Falcons, they do a ton of, like, supercharger cradle uh crank cradles and all that sort of stuff to eliminate any issues you have with those cars so a whole lot of problem solving gets done here at MS mfp and um yeah i don't know it's cool and they do some barra stuff as well if you're in drag racing they do like a water pump delete power steering deletes and things like that so get on there check out all the stuff they do even throw them a comment for me i'd appreciate it and um yeah the, the boss would appreciate it yeah definitely <laughs> the boss will appreciate it so um yeah stoked Thanks, uh, thanks for MFP for having me on board. Yeah, no. All right, before I before I leave, I just realised I got a cradle here, so that's what's normally there. So do you get rid of that or no? Uh, so it? It's clearanced out. Oh right, that. yeah, gotcha. And that just literally slots in here and bolts on. And so obviously, normally your diff would do these ones, and now it won't because it hits on there. Well, it's it's pretty much hard on, isn't it? Yeah. And if if you've got like an excessive amount of gap because like it, you've got an old falcon your, yeah. diff, your diff might have moved a bit you can shim under it like oh, shim it to, up to push it down lower yeah yep. exactly i need to look at mine because i feel like i've made a bracket from here to there which hopefully won't affect that i'm gonna go back in my videos and have a look and see if i might have screwed myself for this conversion i don't think so i think it'd be fine but i'm still gonna double check because <laughs> getting a grinder under there is gonna suck I'll work it out though. Uh, that'll Make definitely sure not to get a two hit. How good is that? <laughs> I can look at my old videos and see what I did in the Japan Falcon while it's in Japan. And um, the bit that we welded on, you can see old Frosty. Saw him the other day, he came around. But he uh, welded in these braces here that I've just found out do nothing to help us anyway because it's actually the, the, the rear housing right. itself. So, yeah. yeah. It'll break the hat, not the, not the actual metal. So, 
Oh, oh man. Laughing. Bolt it down this side and then this side. Perfect. So I'm all good. We're going to take this to Japan, be able to bolt it straight into the Falcon, and everything's going to be all right. So I'm stoked. So today at the Finger Co. household, we have how to educate your family on doing basic car stuff. Yeah. She's standing around watching me do stuff. I'm like, nah. Strong, independent woman needs to do it herself. She gets a... Here, you hold it. I hold it. She gets a big girl car. Now she did, does big, co big girl car things. Big girl, big girl. car things. <laughs> We're putting <laughs> some GK tuna wheel nuts on because um, she just bought a new with a roadworthy. Not brand new, but new to her with a roadworthy. And I was missing a freaking wheel nut. So I'm going to hit up Mr... Um, well, what, what's the roadworthy guy's name? Andrew. Andrew. So we'll, find, we'll hit up Andrew and find out how a car gets a roadworthy with a missing wheel nut. To be fair, other than that, the car looks really good. So not too stressed on it, but definitely missing a wheel nut. So not ideal. She's uh, joined her brother, aka Princey. A Barina crew. Know, yeah. Barina. I don't know if they know that Princey's got a Barina. No. He raves on about how I don't, great it is. I don't really, you know, I'm not really focusing on Barinas on my channel, weirdly. I know, but he was Suzuki's, around. Suzuki's, yes, but, but not He was Barinas. around here helping you, and he was drinking, and he raves on about how great it is when he's drinking. So yeah, well. Anyway, these people and their barinas, so. But it's already um, female approved. It's already ran into everything, so it's good to go. Run into stuff there. Run into stuff there. So it's ready to go. You can run into anything you want. She's going to too. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't want. To, I don't want to see it. I, I nearly saw it. I nearly saw it. I don't want to see it. All right, guys. We're finally here to see the patrol. CNC painting have done. I, he sent me pictures. I don't want to see it. I, I want to see it, but I don't want to see it. I sort of want to. You know what I mean? All right. I saw. Literally, I just saw the lights a bit then, and I was like, Oh shit! I don't want to see it. I'm gonna slip over. Brother. Bro! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Dude! How fucking good does it look one colour? People are not going to believe us. Yeah. They're not going to believe us. It wasn't even pointing at me just now. Yeah. <laughs> Brother! Well, that looks insane. Yeah. People are going to trip balls. That front end is so nice. Yeah, it is, huh? How'd you find the fiberglass? Oh, it was actually pretty good, to be honest. Um, I need... All right, I'd... I'll flip the camera around and show you guys, because it's freaking sick. CNC Automotive, guys. Look him up. He's just moved into a new shed, so he's waiting for his new booth, but he's currently working with this for right now. And this is what? This is the first car you painted here, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I just kind of showed you guys, but <laughs> Patrol is one colour. Holy shit, it looks fucking sick. <laughs> pretty pumped to get it together, eh? Holy shit. That is gangster. Holy. Oh, even the tail lights look so much better, like, because the car's painted, it doesn't look so sketchy. And um, that was the other thing I thought. I wondered if the light would come through once the door was painted. Yeah. That's a no. Dude. How Even the fucking... the rear bar, what's left? Yeah. yeah oh, because, look, their days are numbered anyway, let's be real. Holy <laughs> crap. It doesn't look real. This is just from a dumb idea in my head, guys. And now we're looking at... Yeah. Ridiculousness. You killed it, dude. Yeah. Holy crap. And I didn't give you long. Like <laughs> no. seven days. Yeah, yeah. Realistically, including well, three of them were uh, spent. The air compressor blew up, so I had to buy a new air compressor. Our three phase blew up, so I had to get someone in to do that. <laughs> so we, have, we realistically only had a few days. So the joys of a new shop <laughs> have uh, caught him out. Unreal, man. I'm just like spun out. Yeah, it, looks, it, looks really it looks freaking sick. We wanted to check it out and we put it on. Uh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't even look bad in that. No, I don't know. I'm almost tempted to go black with it, yeah. but I yeah, don't know. Still there. I've got the paint and stuff, so I thought yeah. over the next few days we can mm. pull it off. Yeah. Well, yeah. Ah, it looks... You guys are going to freak out when you see this thing in person. I'm going to put the camera down for a sec and just have a good look.
I'm bloody excited. We're back at the house now. It's night time. Uh, had some dinner and stuff. Um, I didn't show you guys, but I got Perspex. Four and a half mil. Perspex for back windows of the patrol. We're about to unload the rig off of the uh, back of the Raptor trailer. Trailer behind the Raptor. Yep. Yeah, it's, um, I'm tired. Off the, off the trailer. Yeah, I might need to move the 100 or I can move the Zook forward or something. Oh, I'll go and get my keys. I'll just move the Zook. It's easier, the keys are in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know when it's really dark and you can't see? Yeah, some lights would be good. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> look at that. Ah. Now we can see the struts. <laughs> oh, it Stormtrooper. Yeah. Stormtrooper vibes, eh? Oh, under the light. And it's even wet at the moment. It's sort of hard to see 100%, but yeah. And they got muddy because of my tyres off the patrol. The Raptor. Raptor. Well, that is the patrol. <laughs> mud, mud flicked off of the Raptor. But I'm stressing out right now because the Perspex I got is I think it's meant to be one two point yeah twelve pretty sure it's meant to be twelve forty they did me a centimeter that's a lot of material as long as it's enough for two windows six yeah heaps heaps is that six hundred there planned so, it that way beautiful I just wanted to make sure I got two windows out of because it's, it's expensive, that shit. You could almost fit them sideways, couldn't you? How wide? How long's that? Yeah, like, bloody hell, there'd be... Depending on where... The trims? Those trims end up, you could almost do it. Sideways? Almost. I don't think, I think we'd be just off. Okay. Where are those trims? I don't know. We'll find them and we'll come back. Well, I decided I want to get this video out for you guys, so, uh... Want to let you guys know, use the code YouTube20, we have 20% off in store between now and before we leave for World Time Tax. So only a couple days, uh, jump on LukeFink.com, grab yourself some of the merch, 20% off. We don't normally ever do 20% off, so yeah. Thanks for watching this one. The next one is going to be a massive amount of work on the car. That's why I want to edit this now, otherwise I'm not going to have time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.